Hi booktube, so today I'm doing a review on Burn Our Bodies Down by Rory Power. She's also the author of Wilder Girls, which was my first review on here. And in hindsight, while I really enjoyed Wilder Girls, the ending was a mess. It was rushed and the plot lines were not tied up. It just ended. But Burn Our Bodies Down, I enjoyed much better. I received an ARC during Winter Institute. And in terms of the feel of the novel, it reminds me of indie horror. While I did not like the movies Hereditary and Midsummer, it has that feel of like twisted family secrets and an atmospheric where the setting is a character as much as the humans in it. So burn our bodies down. The main character is Margot and she's a girl who lives in a dying town with her mom. For as long as Margot can remember, it's always been just her and her mom. She has no contact with the rest of her family. She's never met the rest of her family and whenever she asks questions, she's shut down about it. So one day she decides to uncover the truth and she finds the key to it, which is a photograph with a phone number. She contacts the number and she talks to her grandmother who invites her to come stay with her. So the next thing you know, Margot is on her way to Nebraska and she gets to this town and it's not what she thinks. And she begins to wonder why her mother left. Was it to protect herself or was it to protect Margot? So Margot is trying to figure out what happened to her family, what happened to her mother, and there's a ton of corn. <laughs> I really enjoyed the voice in this novel and I just, I really enjoy Rory Power's writing style in general and this novel actually ends. It has a satisfying ending to it and I feel like it ties up all the different plot lines. So if you like almost indie horror feel of movies with twisty, with twisted family lies and stories, then I feel like this is a great novel. So thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe, like, comment.